What happened to the Titanic was quite possibly one of the worst nautical disasters this millennium. I mean, Rose could have saved Jack. We've seen the numbers. Mate, that was last millennium. That doesn't stop us from using machine learning and Streamlit to build an amazing app. What's happening guys? Welcome to another episode of Code That where I try to build machine learning apps in a ridiculously short time frame. In this episode, we are going to be building our very own Streamlit and Scikit-Learn machine learning model and application that we're going to be able to use to make predictions as to whether or not Rose could have saved Jack. But before we do that, let's go on ahead and take a look at the rules of Code That. So first and foremost, we're gonna have some constraints. Namely, in this particular instance, we are gonna be having a time limit of seven minutes. That's less than my usual 15. And we all know how that's gone in the past. But nonetheless, we shall progress. Second, I'm not going to be able to look at any doco, stacko, aka stack overflow, or any pre-existing code. If I do, it's a one minute time penalty. And last but not least, if I don't make that time limit, it's gonna be a $50 Amazon gift card to you guys. Alrighty, ready to do it? Let's get to it. Alrighty, seven minutes on the clock. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to need to do is create a new file and we're gonna call it app.py. Then what we need to do is import a bunch of dependencies. So we are going to import Streamlit as ST. And then we are also going to import, uh, we've got a bunch of pre-processors inside of this utils.py file. So this is just part of building the machine learning model. And I will share the machine learning model files with you if you guys want to test this out. So we are going to, uh, from utils, import prep preprocessor or prep processor and then we are also going to import columns which just represents the different column orders that we've got within our machine learning model all right cool so those are those imported then we need to import numpy as mp we need to import pandas as pd and we are also going to import joblib import joblib Woo. all right uh and then think 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 uh we then need to import our model so model equals Joblib, I've started using Joblib as of late. It's actually kind of nice. So XGB pipe. So this is an XGB classifier model. So we are going to be able to punch in a bunch of different features from our user. We'll be able to collect them inside a streamlet and then run it to our XGB classifier. Okay, so that is that. We then need to save that and then let's add a title. So we can use st.title to title our app and we are going to call it, uh, did they survive? And then we, the cool thing is you're going to add emojis in this. You know, I love a good emoji. So we are going to do that. We can add the emoji using the colon symbol and then the name of the emoji. All right, let's start our app up so we can run streamlit app. Oh, streamlit run app.py. I'm just making sure we don't cover that with my head. Cool. So that is the beginnings of our app. And it says, did they survive? So we are progressing at a good rate. Okay, cool. So that is happening. So then what we need to do is add in a bunch of columns to handle all of the different features in our machine learning model. So these are the columns that we're going to need. So passenger is the first one. So we can add in st dot um, text input. And we're going to say uh, passenger input passenger ID. And we'll just import a uh, include a random number. So one, two, three, four, five, six for now, right? And if we refresh that, cool. So we can input our passenger ID in here. All good. All right. Then the next one is the class. So for that, we'll use a slider. So st dot select slider, and then we are going to say uh, choose passenger class. And then we need an array and that array, ooh, we need to close that. And that array needs to include one, two, and three. So these are going to be the different classes that our passenger would have potentially had. Cool. All right. So we can select those. We're looking good there. All right. What else? We, let's punch out a bunch. All right. So we need a name, sex, age. So let's grab those. Just minimize this. All right. So we then need st.text input for our name so these are just different um components that you can add in so input the passenger's name and then we'll just add in a placeholder so john smith and then st dot uh what is it so this one's male female so we can use select slider um select gender 
and then we're going to have male in lower class female all right and the machine learning models hand set up to handle these as well so like we've actually got a scikit learn pipeline that's driving all of this oh, oh my gosh three minutes uh st dot um what is this select uh wait we just need a slider here and then input age and then we set the zero or the the low value st dot oh my gosh this web by is so much faster than i expected Woo. guys i don't know if we're gonna make this st all right so we need another slider for siblings input siblings and then that's we're gonna set that zero to ten number of parents and children oh no we need to set the values it was at this moment that he knew he f up. no passenger id equals that um class equals that because we need to be able to uh store them in a variable passenger class and then this is going to be a name equals that and then make this a bit bigger again we'll come back to that uh and then we need gender equals that and then age equals that and then tib sp equals that and then so that is that one done so these are just different features that we'd be passing through into our machine learning model. So what's this one? Number of parents, children. We're going to set that between zero to two. Uh, the ticket number is ticket ID equals ST dot uh, number input, I think. Yep. All right. Uh, ticket number. And then we'll just set one, two, three, four, five to begin with. And then they're fair. So this is the fair amount. ST dot, um, let's say ST dot number input. Fair amount. Oh my God, a minute left. Okay, uh, so zero to, I don't know, 100. And then cabin equals ST dot text input. And we are going to say uh, select or enter cabin. That's C52. <laughs> uh, we have undoubtedly got some errors in this, uh, whether the, or not they or where they embarked from. So this is Cherbourg, Queenstown, or Southampton. St. Dot, um, oh, what is it? Select box. We'll do that. Uh, choose embarkation point i don't know if i spelled that right we're just going to assume uh so our options are going to be s see i really said we need to tighten up my typing all right that's those features let's save how's this running all right so oh. all right we got I don't think we were even close on that one. All right, all right let, let's wrap this up. So we've at least got all of our features done and we can collect all these features. So if you actually take a look, you can now drive all of these inputs. We definitely needed more time on this particular challenge, but that is okay, guys. This is part of the code that uh, journey. Eventually, your boy's going to get some of these. All right, So, but let's wrap this up. So then we need a button so we can type in st.button. And that is going to say predict. And then we're going to say on click equals predict. And then this is going to have a function called predict. And basically we're going to take all of these features in a particular order and we are going to be able to pass them through to our machine learning app. So we can then go create a value called row and then set that equal to mp.array and then pass each one of these features in. Now, order is important, so we need to follow the order inside of this columns value here. Let me show you that. <sighs> yeah, there was no way I was making that. All right, so that's passenger ID, and then we need P class, which is passenger class, and then we need name, gender, age sib sp 
Piach. Ticket ID. They're fair. And the cabin and whether or not they embarked. Or where they embarked from. Right, so that sets up a basic row. So you can see that there. We then throw it into a data frame. So we're going to call it x equals pd.data frame. Pass through the row. You know what? I reckon I'd make all of these if I just could type accurately. Hmm. All right, columns equals, and then we pass through columns. And then we make a prediction. So we go prediction equals uh, model.predict. Pass through our x value and then grab the first prediction. And then let's just refresh that, see how we're looking. All right, so we've got did they survive and we've got a predict button down there. So that's looking all good. I've just detached my zoomy thing. All right, so you can see that we've got all of our features. And then what we'll do is say if prediction equals equals one, that means they survived. I believe they survived. Prediction. Um, and then we are going to say st.success. And then we're going to return passenger survived. And then thumbs up. And then else. ST.error. Passenger did not survive. And then we can do uh, throw in an emoji thumbs down. All right, cool. Let's run that. All right, so let's refresh. We hit predict. You can see passenger did not survive. So you can see that's making a prediction. So if we change a bunch of these features, set it to female, input the number of siblings, uh, input the parents or number of parents' children, change the amount or the fare. Let's set that to 125, predict. So in this case, a passenger would survive. So this shows you in a super fast nutshell how to go ahead and build your very own Streamlip app. But you could hook this up to just about any other scikit-learn model. Anyway, in this particular case, we did not make the challenge. So here is the Amazon gift card. Again, whoever gets a first manages to claim it. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Peace. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit subscribe and tick that bell. And let me know how you found this particular episode of Code That. I've got a bunch more coming next week. So tune in then.